Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I stand before you today to fulfill one of my highest and most important duties under the United States Constitution, the nomination of a Supreme Court Justice. This is my third such nomination after Justice Gorsuch and Justice Kavanaugh, and it is a very proud moment indeed. Over the past week, our nation has mourned the loss of a true American legend. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a legal giant and a pioneer for women. Her extraordinary life and legacy will inspire Americans for generations to come. Now we gather in the Rose Garden to continue our never-ending task of ensuring equal justice and preserving the impartial rule of law. Today, it is my honor to nominate one of our nation's most brilliant and gifted legal minds to the Supreme Court. She is a woman of unparalleled achievement, towering intellect, sterling credentials, and unyielding loyalty to the Constitution, Judge Amy Coney Barrett. Amy Coney Barrett will decide cases based on the text of the Constitution as written. As Amy has said, being a judge takes courage. You are not there to decide cases as you may prefer. You are there to do your duty and to follow the law wherever it may take you. That is exactly what Judge Barrett will do on the U.S. Supreme Court. I want to thank the members of the Senate. We have so many of them here today. Thank you very much. I see you in the audience, and you're so proud. But I want to thank you for your commitment and to providing a fair and timely hearing. I know it will be that. Judge Barrett was confirmed to the Circuit Court three years ago by a bipartisan vote. Her qualifications are unsurpassed, unsurpassed, and her record is beyond reproach. This should be a straightforward and prompt confirmation. Should be very easy. Good luck. It's going to be very quick. I'm sure it'll be extremely non-controversial. We said that the last time, didn't we? Well, thank you all very much, and thank you for being here. That's really great. Thank you. Thank you. I further urge all members of the other side of the aisle to provide Judge Barrett with the respectful and dignified hearing that she deserves and, frankly, that our country deserves. I urge lawmakers and members of the media to refrain from personal or partisan attacks, and the stakes for our country are incredibly high. Rulings that the Supreme Court will issue in the coming years will decide the survival of our Second Amendment, our religious liberty, our public safety, and so much more. To maintain security, liberty, and prosperity, we must preserve our priceless heritage of a nation of laws. And there is no one better to do that than Amy Coney Barrett. Law and order is the foundation of the American system of justice.